These are all of my face primers, eye primers, and basic skincare routine after I put on moisturizer. So I figured I would start here. We'll move on. Um, I'm just going to organize them real quick. Okay. So starting over here, um, we got this in an Ipsy bag. I have almost used it up. I don't really love it. Um, there's not a lot left in it, and I'm really having to squeeze it. And it started to separate, so I'm just going to go ahead and toss that. Um, this I also got in an Ipsy bag. Still don't love it. Still somehow using it every day. Not really sure what that's about. Uh, going to finish it because I'm almost done with it, though, so I'll keep that. Uh, moving on to eye primers, I like got this. I got this at the dollar store. This is the Wet n Wild Fergie, and it's a shimmer base, and I do really like it. It's nice to wear just as an eyeshadow, so I'll keep that. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Eyeshadow Primer. I haven't really played with it too much, so I'm going to hang on to it and use it a couple of times and see how I really feel about it. I have the Maybelline Color Tattoo by Eye Studio. This is in too cool and it's a frosty white and I keep saying I love this as a base and I never reach for it so I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that I'll put these over here put the keeps over here and then the last eye primer is it's it's completely revved off but this is the elf eye primer and then this is in the color sheer I don't like this at all and I kept it and now that I've oh I'm missing Mm -hmm. Let me add that in there. Um, I don't like this at all, and I kept it, and now that I have the Urban Decay Primer Potion, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that as well. Uh, this I am going to keep. It's almost used up. I may not rebuy it. I'm going to see how the other eyeshadow primers work, but I am going to keep it. Uh, this, is, this is just a lip primer by NYX. It's the only lip primer I have, so I will keep that. So, this is by Unique. A friend of mine sells these, and it's supposed to be an instant lifting serum. And I'm going to do a Does It Work Worth It video with this, because I've tried it once or twice, and I feel something when I put it on my face, but I don't see an effect immediately. So I'll give that a good video try, and we will get back to it. Um, and then moving on to the face primers. This I know I'm going to keep. It's the Circa Fresh Canvas Face Primer. I love it. It's a dupe for the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, which I am also going to keep. Um, the Wet n Wild Primer Base Tint, this feels sort of like Elmer's glue to me, and I don't really love it. So I think I'm going to pass this on to someone who will use it. And then the Mary Kay, this is a good silicone base primer, and I kind of reach for this when I have nothing else going on. So I think I'm going to pass it along to someone else for now because I don't need it, and I have these two that I am keeping. The Revlon Photo Ready, I got this to try with the foundation. I want to give this one more try, but if I don't like it, I'm, I am going to pass it on because it does, um, again, I prefer a silicone base. So this is in the one more try pile. And then the e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer, I just picked this up. I do really like it. I like the way it goes on. It's a little bit silicone and a little bit hydrating at, the, hydrating at the same time. The only thing that I think is weird about it is you can't really see it. I wonder if I can pull this out. Is that it looks like you're getting you're getting so much, but this goes so so far into that tube. And it just seems like it's a waste of packaging. I mean, just sell me the smaller bottle or make me pay more for a larger bottle. But it is really nice and I do like it, so I'm going to keep that. So I am keeping And that's a one more try. Oh, that's not in there. So I am keeping a whole bunch more that I am getting rid of, but I feel like these two are one more try, and then they're probably on their way out. This is going to be gone soon. This I still have to really give a shot, and this is going to be gone soon. So it's about even, sort of. Not really. Okay. Moving on. So here we are with all of my liquid foundations, my powders, my concealers, and my color correctors. I am going to sort these out and let's go through them. Okay, so just going left to right, this is the Clinique Super Balanced Makeup. This is in the shade Ivory. They don't make this shade anymore, but I've almost finished the product and I do really like it, so I am going to keep that. 
Um, these are the Fit Me. One is matte and poreless. One is dewy and dewy and smooth. Matte is in the shade natural. The matte is in the shade natural ivory, and the dewy is in the shade classical ivory. I so the matte looks. The matte works for me. The dewy, while I like the formula. Um, the shade is just too dark and too yellow for my skin tone. I don't know if you guys can see that. So I will be passing this along to someone who can use it. However, I will be keeping the matte and poreless. Make that my to-go pile. Oh, wait. Um, this I just got. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation. This is in the shade Soft Ivory. I really, really like this. I like the way it goes on. It's not too shimmery. For a luminescent foundation and it does have SPF 20 so yay keeping that uh, this is the all make clear complexion and I do want to say with this foundation this is the only one when I that didn't cake when I was having my foundation problems this one stayed with me tried and true this is in the shade ivory again and it's just <sighs> even if it's not the first one I reach for I know it's the one when nothing else is working this one will work so I may I'm gonna keep that um, this is the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Effect, and I did keep the primer to try again. I know I don't like this foundation, so I am going to pass this foundation on. Um, this is the e.l.f. Flawless Finish, and this is in the shade Porcelain. I did just get this. I do absolutely love the way it applies. I love the coverage. I am going to keep that for. And then this is the Clinique Even Better, and this one is also in the shade Ivory. I'm noticing a trend here. Um, I'm not... I don't know. I feel like I just got it, so I should give it more of a chance. Let me see. It's dark, but it's it's dark on me, but it has a more pink undertone for me, so it... You know what? I am going to get rid of this. But what I'll do is, since it's still in the window for returns at Ulta, I will return this for something that is a better shade for me. So I will put that in the bin there. Um, next is this BB cream by CoverGirl. I, I love this BB cream. I buy it every time I see it in a store because I'm so afraid they're going to stop making it. Um, they, this is in the shade Fair to Light. It is just beautiful. It's got good SPF. And if I'm running out for the door for the day, I know that this is going to look awesome and blend smoothly and not cake or clump or look like I'm wearing too much on my face and it's got the SPF protection. I just I just really like it. So that's a keep. So I've gotten rid of three three foundations. Not so great. Um, this I'm definitely keeping. This is my Wet n Wild Cover All palette. Um, I'd like to find a palette that had a more coral tone in it rather than um, the white because I find that I don't use the white so much. But I do love this, and for the price, you just can't beat it. Uh, powders. So this was in a best of worst of of mine. This is the Circa press. This is the Circa powder, but it's in. It comes in a. Oh God, I don't want to do this. It comes in like its own brushes in it, and it just does not. I don't like the way it applies. The powder is fine for powder. It's powder, but this is a hazard with me around. So I am going to pass that on. Um, this is the Revlon Photo Ready Pressed Powder. It's okay. It's nothing special. So I think I'm going to pass that along to someone who will use it and who will actually really appreciate it. Um, this I am going to keep. This is the NYX HD Studio Foam and Finish Powder. I love this. I love it under my under eyes. I love it everywhere on my face. It just makes my skin feel really velvety and smooth and it does good things. So I'm gonna keep that. <laughs> Concealers. Uh, this I'm gonna go. This is the e.l.f. concealer. This is the stick. I've actually I haven't used that much of it so I'm gonna clean it off and pass it to a friend. It's in the shade, uh, the shade beige for those of you who care. Um, it's alright, it's just a drier formula than I like. I like a liquid because I wear a lot of concealer and I don't want to have to pull my my skin. So I am going to pass that on. Um, this I just got. This is the, the Maybelline Age Rewind and this is in the shade Fair, I believe. Fair. And I really, really like this. Uh, the applicator doesn't get dry. It 
dabs on really nicely. Pretty cool stuff. So keeping that, um, this is the Tarte Shape Tape. I don't even have to tell you how much I love this. This is in the shade Fair. It took me forever to get and going to keep that for sure. It is still the most, it is still the best um, toned concealer for my skin ever. Like, like, look how it covered that freckle. Like, that's crazy. Nothing should do that. That's insane. So I'm going to keep that. This is my Clinique concealer, I don't know, line smoothing concealer, and this is in the shade moderately, f and this is in the shade moderately fair. I do like this. I don't actually love it, and I don't reach for it all that often because I have other concealers. So I think I may pass this one on, which is a surprise because I thought for sure I would keep it. I think I'm going to pass it on. This I swear by. This is my duo concealer highlighting stick by e.l.f. in Fair and Glimmer. Fair and Glow. And it's a really light concealer on one end, and then the other end is this white shimmer glitter highlight, and I use both ends of it, and I love it, and I've rebought this and rebought this and rebought this from e.l.f. I, I love this. I love this. And this I got to try out, and I haven't really tried it because my shape tape came. This is the NYX HD Photo Concealer, and also in the shade, this is probably in fair, let's be real here. I'm white. <laughs> This is probably, oh, and this is in the shade Porcelain. And when I first got it, I thought it tracked a little bit pink on my skin. Now I'm thinking it goes a bit more yellow to neutral. So it's, it's okay. It's nothing spectacular. Let me, let me see. So I'm going to keep one of them. Yeah, see how dark that is? That's, this is great for spot coverage once I have my face on, though, and everything else is lightening. So I think I will keep this then and get rid of the NYX because the NYX is not super fantastic for me. So I have gotten rid of that and I'm keeping all of that. And for my first declutter, I think that's pretty good. I'm okay with it. We will live. The Wet n Wild Primer Base Tint. This feels sort of like emerald glue. Emerald, uh -huh, emerald glue? 